Welcome to clickmyproject.com. The title of this paper is a fast clustering based feature subset selection algorithm for high dimensional data. The main motive of this paper is feature selection. What is feature selection? Selecting a useful features from the original set of features to improve more accurate results. With the aim of choosing such a subset of features with respect to the target concepts, feature subset selection is an effective way for reducing the dimensionality, removing irrelevant data or redundant data and in increasing the learning accuracy and improving result comprehensibility. Many feature subset selections methods have been proposed and studied for machine learning applications. They are uh, ca they can be divided into four broad categories: the embedded, wrapper, filter, and hybrid approaches. The embedded methods incorporate feature selection such as, such as a part of training process and are usually specific to give, uh, given learning algorithms and therefore may be more efficient than the other three categories. The next one is the filtering method. The filter method are independent of learning algorithms with good generality. Their computational complexity is low, but the accuracy of the learning algorithm is not guaranteed. The third one is the wrapper methods. The wrapper methods are computation computationally expensive and tend to overfit and small training sets. The filter methods, in addition to their generality, are usually a good choice when the number of features is very large. Then last one is the hybrid approaches. Hybrid approach is nothing but any of the combinations of above mentioned methods is called as the hybrid methods. Among the above mentioned methods, our proposed algorithm falls under the filter based method. The filter based method is mainly for feature subset selection. The application of cluster analysis has been demonstrated in this filter based methods. In cluster analysis, graph theoretic methods have been well studied and used in many applications. The feature selection is a process of uh, is a process of identifying and removing as many relevant and redundant features as possible. This is because irrelevant features do not contribute to the predictive accuracy, redundant features do not read down to getting a better predicted for that they provide a mostly information which is already present in other features. Of the many feature subset selection algorithms, some can effectively eliminate irrelevant features but fail to handle redundant features. So, some of others can eliminate the irrelevance while taking care of the redundant features. Traditionally, feature subset selection research has focused on searching for relevant features. A well-known example in relief which weighs each feature according to its ability to discriminate instances under different targets based on distance-based criteria function. Along with the irrelevant features, redundant features also affect the speed and accuracy of learning algorithms and thus, and thus should be eliminated as well. Thus, the focused proposed algorithm must concentrate on eliminating both irrelevant and redundant features. Keeping this in mind, this, now, this proposed algorithm can efficiently and effectively deal with both relevant and redundant features and obtain a good feature subset. Hence, in order to provide a better feature selection algorithm, this paper proposes a fast algorithm which produces qualitative effective feature set. This algorithm is composed of two subsets which composed of two connected components of irrelevant feature re removal and redundant feature elimination. The farmer obtains a feature relevant to the target concept by eliminating irrelevant ones and the later removes redundant features from relevant ones via choosing representatives from different feature clusters and thus produces the final subset. The irrelevant feature removal is straightforward once the right relevance measure is defined as selected while the redundant feature elimination is a bit of sophisticated. In our proposed FAST algorithm, it involves the construction of the minimum spanning tree from a weighted complete graph. The second one is the partitioning of MST into a forest with each tree representing a cluster. And third one, the selection of representative features from the clusters. This is the work to be proceeded.
now i will explain the flow of this project initially the data set have to be loaded from that the irrelevant feature removal process will be done and from that the minimum spanning tree construction is proceeded minimum spanning tree construction is done with any of the algorithm either prims or cross calls after that tree partition or representative feature selection is uh, done uh, the final features which are selected as representative is combined and it is formed as a selected feature set now i will explain the architecture of this project first the data set have to be loaded from that the symmetric uncertainty that is in the sense uh, the entropy and conditional entropy of attributes with respect to the class label is computed and from that the uh, entropy and conditional entropy value we will calculate the relevance t relevance t relevance in the sense it forms the relevance between the attribute and the class labels from that the most relevant attributes will be selected and the uh, for that uh, for that attributes the minimum spanning tree is constructed the minimum spanning tree is constructed using the cross calls algorithm and the tree is obtained now from that we will form the cluster formation cluster in the sense with e we will select one representative for each of the each of the cluster the representative is selected with respect to the values which which we obtained for the f correlation value f correlation value is nothing but the uh, uh, similarity between the two attributes with respect to the class label the similarity value will be uh, will be between 0 to and 1 uh, fi fi then finally the head the cluster heads are combined and formed as a feature subset this f uh, cluster heads are combined to form a feature subset and this set to be the effective feature set for performing the further process now i will show the demo of this project for running this we need two software that is vamp server and the netbeans netbeans will act as a front end and vamp server for back end database uh, after importing these and all um, we, we have to start from home.java right click home.java and select run file then choose the file that is the data set to be processed we will choose here as lungcancer.csv and and that is converted into arf format arf format will will be displayed here and we will create a table regard to store these values a table is created at the back end and stored there we will extract this data alone and we will store it in the database data is stored now we will display the data which is which is stored in that back end classify will be uh, performed according to the class labels number of class labels present in the last column uh, uh, for every feature selection uh, process the last column will be considered as the class label uh, in in this uh, pro according to the class label the number of uh, tables will be created for example here totally 57 attributes are there but we will be representing from a0 to a56 a56 will be the class class field and uh, in a in a56 uh, there are three class labels so three tables three sub tables were created if you click this the tables will be shown here extract the initial attributes in these uh, uh, in this data set will be uh, shown here and for that we will find the standard deviation the standard deviation will be calculated for each class label for three and for two and for one for each class label will be performing all these operations after that we will calculate the entropy value for three class labels the this in the same way we will compute the conditional entropy and the gain value now the gain value is shown here and we, with that gain value we will find out the t relevance value t relevance value is nothing but the relevance of that particular attribute with respect to that class label so we will finding uh, we will be showing the class labels for 1 2 and 3 and the uh, and the relevance value for a0 to a56 is calculated for all those three class labels from this the redundant remo redundancy removal will be performed here remove redundancy if you click this the redundant attributes will be removed for these attributes we will calculate the f correlation f correlation will be computed for all those present in the present in the uh, class labels 
For this, we will perform the minimum spanning tree construction. Show MST. These are the edges which are uh, which are uh, drawn for the trees. For example, A28 to A31 is one edge, and A28 to A30 is the one edge. Likewise, for all these three class labels, we will calculate the minimum spanning tree edges. From this, un unnecessary edges will be eliminated. Uh, for uh, eliminate unnecessary edges, and it will be performed here. Now the eliminate edges are eliminated and the representative is to be chosen now. For example, in this for class 3, A22 is the uh, representative and for class 2, A2 is the representative and for class 1, A31 is the representative. From this we will select the final feature set with according to the threshold value. This, this is the final feature set which is obtained as the effective feature subset. This this is the result of this project. Hence, our process ends with this. Thanks for listening the project. Thank you.